In the last video we saw in detail the properties of animated characters and static ones. In this video we are going to talk about motion clips. Okay, so let's start by selecting this character here. As you can see, I converted it from an automatic character to a manual one. Okay, and here we have the properties of this animated character and specifically this section called actor clip. Okay, so this section has several options as you can see. Each one of this option is a specific situation where Anima asks us what clip to use. A clip in Anima is an animation. A motion clip is an animation. Hmm? A clip of movement, motion. Okay, so the, the three first, the first three are locomotion, about the movement of the character. So when the character has to walk, when the character has to run, and when the character has to stop. And for each one of these, a specific animation has been defined, selected. So if I left click here in a drop down menu, as you can see here, we have an old bunch of options. Now here we know that these are the walking animation because there is walking before. This walking is a system tag. We will see in a later videos how to tags work and how to create new ones. Okay, so each animation that come with anima that comes with anima and has this walking tag assigned will appear here okay quite simple now the run clip running and then the stop the stop is the animation needed from, for anima when the character has to stop let's say the two characters will cross each other then one will stop the other will continue and then the first one will um, keep going okay so this is about the locomotion clips. Then we have the idle clip. The idle clip is when the character doesn't move. Example, let's go to the library actors. I will left click this character and we'll create it here. Okay, and this way like this. Okay, this animation we see here, this pose, the starting pose is related to the idle animation this character is using at this moment. Why? because it doesn't move, okay? Just like this. So it's select and delete it, mm, quite simple. Let's select again this character. Then we have four options mm, related to specific simulation elements. For example, when characters are on escalators, on, in a traffic lights, in a square where they usually socialize, e sit in on a chair or in this case, this is a different situation. It's not a simulation element, it's a context, okay? When they are conversating, having a conversation between them, okay? So it's quite, quite simple. We just need to specify which animation or we want to um, be used by anima when the character mm, is uh, leaving one of these situation, okay? Now, we can choose from these animations, but we can use also the library. In this case, we go at the bottom of the library and we have here the tab library motion clips. So we left click here. And as you can see, we you probably will have this situation here. Okay, the old section hmm, opened. Now I here I, we have all the motion clips, the animation we have in Anima. We can just uh, hover on top of this. There is the name, there is the tag running, female, and so on. But I don't like too much working with this open. Okay, I usually collapse this and have all the other sections. And they are actually the same as this mm, situation here. Locomotion walk, locomotion run, locomotion stop, idle escalator, traffic light, square, chair, and conversation. So it's very, very simple to know where to pick a motion clip from to be assigned here. So what I should do, I could do in both cases, is just to left click here in animation like this and dragging and releasing here. So now I changed this walking animation to this clip I have here. But we are not bound to assign in the locomotion walk clip only the animations of the locomotion walk section in the library motion clips. Okay, we could perfectly do this. Opening the locomotion run, 
here we have the running for female for women left click and drag here now what would cause this this would cause that this character mm, would be running always mm, actually i will demonstrate it to you okay hit spacebar and as you can see this character mm, she's having a hard time to avoid all the characters so this is uh, to be kept in mind okay and now she has stopped why because there is not enough space so we have to consider this now one thing i want to show you just a bit of something we will see later on about the timeline here in the timeline when we over it we have these three labels mm? one on the left one on the right and one on this uh, the center the middle so the middle one if we left click on this middle one mm, and we move we can scrub the timeline okay scrolling the animation the old simulation so this is very useful to see how this character mm, is moving as you can see here for example in this part the character is almost out of the path and this is something that maybe we don't want to mm? so we just have to keep mm, in mind this and by the way this is not the way we should do this okay if we want the character to be always running we have to keep in mind one thing anima is asking us what animations has um, have to be played according to the situation the character is called to play so in this case i will go back and assign for example this animation this walking animation okay so like this okay and that's it this is not something we are going to change very very often what we can change is a different thing since this is a manual character we can adjust the speed percentage so if the i change this speed to 150 percent as you can see the animation the motion clip here used is running it's quite more intuitive to work on the speed instead of changing the animation okay why is that? Because according to animation, the animation speed, Anima will choose the right animation from here. Okay? So it's, it's very important to understand this. So I will go back to 96%, more or less, and that's it. Now, this is a way of assigning motion clips directly on to the characters. Okay? This is specific uh, action. But we can also assign motion clips to elements simulation elements like for example the path we select it okay and we go to in the properties panel to the path properties section and here the last option we talked about this a bit when we talked about all these options okay is the motion clip category mm, option now this motion clip category is very important because it we can assign here a motion clip or a category what happens if we assign a specific motion clip let's say we want all the characters to be running okay so we go here in the motion clip library we open the local motion run and we select one of these now we have two male male running and one female so this is just the first limitation we should we would use the same animation mm, um, whether the character is male or female mm, would be the same so i will left click and drag here okay and all the characters will have the same animation now they wouldn't start the animation at the same time because we have always the animation phase random and so on okay we already know this but the women would use the same animation as the men so how we can change this first of all this is not something i really uh, would do most of the time so what i would do is just to left click on this x button to delete the animation and as you can see all each ca all characters go back to their previous animation defined by the path mm, properties what we could do is since we can assign a category we can left click for example on the here the title locomotion run left click and drag okay and release now if the character is a male it would use a male animation if the character is a female it would use a female animation okay this is a bit uh, 
a lot better. Okay, sorry. <laughs> now, this is a way to act globally. Okay, there is another way of uh, setting an animation on a path more locally. Okay, let's say for example that we are we have created a path that crosses a street, and in this street are passing cars. So uh, the idea is that when the the characters are walking on the sidewalk, they are walking exactly, but when they cross the street, they start running. So how we do this? Well, it's quite simple. So we instead of selecting all the path, we need to select the path. By the way, we select a specific node. Now the options of a, of a specific node are related to the width in this point of the path. Okay. That's something we know. And then we have the path point action section. Okay. We have the fitting time and then the motion clip category. So we could assign to this the category direct directly. So I will do this. Okay. And as you can see, this section here, this segment hmm, has changed color hmm, to a pink one. Okay. So what I will do is just to do the same here. So left click on our logo motion run and assign it to this. Okay. And the same thing goes here. Okay. Something like this. Now, important thing is the other option, the fade in time. The fade in time is the time of fading between the previous animation the character had before entering this, um, se this segment and the new animation. Okay. So I will change this to 0 0.25. And I will do the same here. Okay. Okay. I was doing this here. Mm. I'm not going to do this here because they have the same animation. Okay. So once I've done this, mm, I just hit spacebar. Mm, and some of the characters, as you can see here, mm, start to run in that section on those segments. Now, you probably saw that not all the characters that were already generated on top of these segments start to run. So in this case, what we could choose, uh, first of all, we could reduce, for example, the number of actors, mm, the actors count, because in this case, we give them more space, first of all. Mm, and secondly, important is uh, we could, for example, work with the longitudinal distribution to populate the path only on a specific, on a different area. For example, before or after, it depends. Okay, so we can here, and as you can see, mm, these characters start to run, 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 and then stop. Okay, this is very, very useful. Okay, so this is almost it. As you can see here on the library motion clips, we have several more idle clips, escalator clips, square clips. This is also for socialization and conversation clips, as you can see here. Okay, so we can play with these. One important thing is that we cannot assign a category to a character. Hmm? These here are clips. We cannot assign multiple clips, just one at a time. Okay, so for this video, we stop here. We see in the next one.